So am I Mike? You're Mike. I'm me. You're you. You are interviewing for the position of Big Spoon. I love it. Thank you. (laughs) Hi, I'm Carlin Adelson. I'm 27 and I recently retired from dating. If I could do anything, I would just fast forward eight months to the spooning phase. So I am holding auditions for the long-term position of Big Spoon. This is Cuddling with Carlin, the Big Spoon Search. Do you feel um, like it's at all forced because there are other people in the room? This isn't the only time I've done this. I'm aware. <laughs> so I want to know, so when, when you were Googled, <laughs> there is a movie that you were in. So it's called Eating Out, the open weekend. How did this movie find you? Or how did you find this movie? It was a gay comedy film, and I was mm-hmm. asked to do it because I was a straight guy, believe it or not. And mm-hmm. the franchise was trying to bring in other straight people. I did it because at the time, my uh, my older brother is gay. And mm-hmm. so that was like right when he came out. But he um, didn't necessarily think that I was going to be okay with him being gay. So right around that time, the project was put in my lap. And I did it mm-hmm. as like a... I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was a cool project. I yeah. Actually. I mean, minus everybody thinking you do gay porn. So what made you want to bring George? I love George. George is great. Are there are there any deal breakers in a spoon where you're like, this cannot happen? Any bodily functions. Okay. Would not any be of them. Appropriate. Okay. I'm I not saying like... that I'm like. No, 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 gotta no, no. Cut one. So can a chick fart? <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to get the rules down. What is your favorite thing that you've said while teaching a class? I've said some pretty ridiculous things. You, I've heard you. Brace yourself, George. Okay. Uh oh. I was out in the Hamptons, and okay. there was a. It was it was rough. It was just a hard class okay. in general, and I kept saying like, "Keep pushing, like you know, let's keep working because it'll all it'll go away at the end. It'll mm-hmm. all be gone." And I actually said, "It's like Jumanji. <laughs> it'll all go away at the end. How this is not people? a lie." Like, and then part of me did feel like in that moment that I was brilliant. <laughs> but then I, I, I think I realized once my girlfriend put me back on track that, no, you're you're not quite so brilliant. There are certain references that just, they should be made for. And I think that Jumanji is one of them. So thank you. Um, did you ever watch Three Ninjas? Did I watch the Three Ninjas? Were you f- Emily? Rocky loved Emily. Rocky did love Emily. I was a fan of Tum Tum. That's a um, little strange. Yeah. Perhaps any sort of reference to Tum Tum during a spoon session would perhaps go under the category of a not to do thing. I feel like I just got him. I was a little bit of a fat kid. Um, Wait a minute. Don't what? do this. Okay. So that's that. This is a spoon deal breaker. This is really good to know. Spoon deal breaker. Mike is. Mike is asleep. Do I have a favorite boy band? Mm Mm-hmm. Because I feel like It is hard to say because boy bands are so epic. Yeah, I feel like you look like you could be in one. This is a solo act. This is a solo (laughs) (laughs) show. Would you have a performance name or would you just be like Mike Vera? Maybe I'd use my middle name. Maybe it would be Michael William. Ooh. Michael William. Almost royal. Mm Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, it's kind of got like a hint of foreign. You're from San Diego, right? Totally. Totally. Nailed it. Okay, what is your favorite cologne? Because you you have a scent. I mean, I rock Chanel Blue when I go out. Don't, okay. Don't mess around. Okay, I'm not. Uh, What's your workout scent? <laughs> oh, dude, Axe Champion. But Chanel Blue was only for nighttime. Chanel, I mean, that's that's when Michael Blue comes out. Who do I have with me here? You got Megalito. I've got Megalito. And so you've had that Blakey since birth. Mm-hmm. And you, do you sleep with it every night? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Give it a try. Let's see. You're talking about Big Spoon, Little Spoon. This is true. Oh, there's, there's a train on it. It's a soul train. This thing smells like fresh laundry and mm. promises. I've made a lot of promises. Have you? Yeah. What's the best promise? To, to Blanky? Yeah. What's the best promise you and Blanky have ever Because I'm going to pass Blanky down in generations. You're going to give it to your kids? Yeah. That's really cute. Tell me about it. Mm-hmm. If, say, you were doing a spooning session, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden... Somebody got a little bit more interested in spooning with a George mm-hmm. or with a childhood blankie. Mm-hmm. Would this be a deal breaker? No. All right. I'm going to watch gotcha. my Netflix. Very little spoon fun. mentality. Mm-hmm. All right, Mike, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you coming in to do the interview. Of course. Mask is back on. Mm. I don't know if that means I'm leaving or you're leaving. I don't know. It's too hard to tell. Vote. All right, Miguelito. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you have the beer to take the stage. All right.
Are you guys going to leave too or? Mm-hmm.